Prince Charles was furious Princess Diana did not live in his shadow and the royal family were ill-prepared to deal with the princess's troubled and complex personality, an extraordinary tell-all documentary has revealed. A Netflix series, Royal House of Windsor, paints a picture of Prince Charles and Princess Diana's relationship. In a TV interview, the 21-year-old Charles said, Whomever I choose is going to have a jolly hard job, always in my shadow. But the heir to the throne was left angered when he could not treat the people's princess like a toy. In the series, historian Dr. Piers Brendan said, Charles felt he could impose his own personality on her and she would become a kind of female complement to him. So she was a toy, she was a kind of Barbie doll as far as he was concerned. Charles and Diana were forced to get hitched after just 12 days following intense pressure from the royal family. Several members, including Prince Philip, urged the Prince of Wales to leave his bachelor life behind and settle down with a decent woman. Charles met Diana at a party at Petworth House, and their friendship soon blossomed. Prince Philip issued Charles an ultimatum in a letter in which he instructed his son to marry Diana, or leave her. But the hurried marriage led to the couple's untimely demise. The documentary's narrator, Guam Li, said, Behind Diana's shy smile lurked a troubled, complex character one Charles and the rest of the royal family were ill-prepared to deal with. Penny Jr., royal biographer, said, Diana was damaged. She needed to feel loved 100% of the time. Charles, on the other hand, was a very needy young man. Ems Jr. added, he felt he was never good enough for his parents, certainly never good enough for his father, and his mother was rather absent because she was queen. And what he wanted in a marriage was a wife who would support him, and in Diana, he didn't have that wife, so it was a really, really tragic mismatch. Camilla suffered a brutal rejection from the Queen when she first dated Prince Charles in the early 1970s, with the monarch refusing to let Camilla near her, according to a shocking claim. Prince Charles and Camilla met in mid-1971 when they belonged to the same social circles and occasionally attended the same events, including polo matches at Smith's Lawn in Windsor Great Park. They began dating around 1972. And as their relationship became more serious, Charles was introduced to Camilla's family in Plumpton, and Camilla met certain members of the royal family. However, the future Duchess was reportedly banned from meeting the Queen, with both the monarch and Prince Philip disapproving of the relationship as Camilla was viewed as unmarriageable. Christopher Wilson, a royal biographer and journalist, commented on the Queen's dislike for Camilla, saying, the Queen and Prince Philip knew everything about Prince Charles' relationship with Camilla, the Queen said I will not have that woman in my presence. Prince Philip reportedly took a more pragmatic view of mistresses, but believed unsuitable partners should be kept in the background. Speaking in the documentary series, The Royal House of Windsor, Mr. Wilson said, The problem with Prince Charles was, you are not supposed to be in love with your mistress, you are supposed to have sex with your mistress. But Charles had fallen in love with Camilla, and that really screwed everything. Historian Professor Jane Ridley noted the Queen was keen on steering Prince Charles away from dating someone deemed as unmarriageable, following the union of Wallace Simpson and King Edward VIII which led to his abdication. She said, the only thing that the royal family wanted to avoid was that the Prince of Wales should become involved in a woman who was unmarriageable from the point of view of the royal family but it seemed this pattern was reappearing. The Queen's dislike for Camilla reportedly stemmed from the fact she was not a virgin, and had former boyfriends prior to dating Prince Charles. Historian Dr. Piers Brendan commented on the issue, saying, It was absolutely vital to have on the throne someone who was a virgin, a future queen must have no past. Author Penny Jr. added, There is no suggestion that Camilla was a loose woman, but she had had boyfriends. Notably, Camilla had been dating Prince Charles' polo friend Andrew Parker Bowles, whom she later married in July 1973. Ems Jr. described Camilla as funny, outspoken, and a bit outlandish, who had lived a little compared to Prince Charles who was still very green around the ears. 
Prince Charles subsequently fell for Camilla big time, and expressed real sadness when their relationship eventually ended in 1973. Mr. Wilson said, Charles was young, he was red-blooded, he was a passionate man, and I think we was looking for someone who could blow him away, and the meeting of the two was like a thunderclap. Prince Charles nevertheless called off the relationship in January 1973 when he traveled to the Caribbean to spend eight months with the Royal Navy, and Camilla subsequently married Mr. Parker Bowles later that year. The breakdown of their relationship caused Prince Charles to spiral out of control, and he subsequently dated a series of girlfriends in his quest to find a suitable wife, according to the documentary. Mr. Wilson said, what he got was a string of arm candy people who he really wasn't that interested in, but people who he took out because it made him look good. Charles eventually met Princess Diana in 1977 while visiting her home, Althorpe in Northamptonshire, and eventually proposed to her in February 1981. Camilla is set to blow the lid off the royal family with the shocking $12 million tell-all that will reveal every palace secret from the last 50 years. The Duchess of Cornwall has been in top-secret negotiations with book publishers in the U.S. about a deal that could see her share her never-told-before story, much to the shock of senior royals. It's believed the blockbuster expose will reveal exactly how her illicit romance with Charles began and new details of their affair behind Diana's back as well as revealing exactly how she feels about every member of the royal family. Sources tell USA Express Camilla's views on Duchess Kate, Meghan Markle and Denmark's Princess Mary which aren't exactly kind or pleasant will shock the world, making it no great surprise that the Queen is using all her power to stop the tell-all from ever seeing the light of day. Camille has been offered a whopping as $10 million by a U.S. publishing house to spill all her secrets on her life with Charles, their affair and all the dramas from inside the palace and it's caused terror to rip through the royal family in what they fear could be the biggest scandal they've ever faced, a high-ranking palace source tells USA Express. One of Camilla's closest aides leaked the information to someone inside the palace and an emergency summit was called immediately by the Queen, says the source. The entire family has been shaken to the core especially Charles, who fears Camilla's revelations could be explosive. It could not only destroy the royal family's reputation but cause them to fall apart for good. Camilla is said to be revealing exactly what happened between her and Diana, how Charles was still seeing her when they were married, details of bitter showdowns with William and Harry and painting the boys in a very different light to the charming princes they are known to be. She's also set to spill potentially devastating details about how the Queen really reacted to Harry's relationship with Meghan Markle, tensions between Charles and the Queen over the throne, and how Kate tried to bulldoze her journey to the throne and the rose which took place between them. This could potentially be devastating and the palace is now trying to devise an action plan to stop the publishing deal from going ahead. Right now everyone feels like they are waiting for a bomb to explode. It's believed Camilla is digging in her heels on doing the tell-all, with supporters revealing she thinks she's been silenced for too long and that her opinion deserves to be heard. Camilla, say sources, loved the attention she received following her interview to commemorate her recent 70th birthday, and would love to have more time in the limelight. She's so fed up with so many things behind palace doors that's why she's really considering doing this book, and insider reveals. She disapproves of Meghan, Kate and Princess Mary. She really hates that so many commoners are finding their way into Europe's biggest royal families. She's sick of the sympathy that Diana continues to receive and how she and Charles have always been painted as heartless and conniving. She wants the world to know she was Charles' rightful wife back when she was a teenager, that they were in love back then but Philip and the Queen ended their romance and forced him to marry Diana. She wants to have her say and she's not going to pull plans to do this book easily. Sources say the book is just the latest saga in a long line of scandals behind the scenes at Buckingham Palace, involving Camilla, who is reportedly demanding that aides should call her queen. She thinks the queen should abdicate and demands that all her minions call her Her Majesty and Queen behind the scenes, telling them that they need to practice, 
says the source. It's frightfully disrespectful but that's Camilla for you. She's really throwing her weight around at the moment. She wants to be head of the royal family sooner rather than later.